My name is Paul Landry Aronson. I'm an MD at Yale School of Medicine in the Departments of Pediatrics and Emergency Medicine. This topic is acute pancreatitis. So acute pancreatitis is pancreatic inflammation or injury causing leakage of pancreatic enzymes into the surrounding tissues. There are a multitude of causes of acute pancreatitis with a commonly used mnemonic of I get smashed that highlights these causes. I is for idiopathic, G is for gallstones, E is for ethanol, T is for trauma, S is for steroids, M is for mumps or malignancy, A is for an autoimmune process, S is for scorpion sting, H is for either hypertriglyceridemia or hypercalcemia, and E is for ERCP, and D is for drugs or certain medications. The most common causes of acute pancreatitis are gallstones and ethanol. Now, acute pancreatitis classically presents as severe upper abdominal or epigastric pain that radiates to the back and is often relieved when the patient leans forward. It may be associated with tenderness, often severe tenderness in the upper abdomen on exam. Additional symptoms or signs may include nausea or vomiting with hypoactive bowel sounds variably present due to a localized ileus. In its severe form, the patient may present in shock due to fluid loss from third spacing. In severe necrotizing or hemorrhagic pancreatitis, classic physical exam signs include Gray-Turner sign, which is bruising of the flank, or Cullen sign, which is bruising of the umbilicus. Acute pancreatitis is diagnosed based on history, physical exam, and then the detection of elevated levels of serum pancreatic enzymes. Serum lipase is highly sensitive and specific for pancreatitis, while elevated amylase is sensitive but is not as specific for acute pancreatitis. Additional laboratory findings may include leukocytosis, or an elevated peripheral white blood cell count, as well as hyperglycemia due to reduced insulin release with acute pancreatitis. Hypocalcemia may also occur. Particularly in the presence of gallstones, elevated transaminases, i.e. ALT or AST, may be present, as well as elevated bilirubin. Imaging used to assess for pancreatitis include ultrasound, which has the benefit of no radiation, as well as CT scan, which can provide the most detail on pancreatitis and associated complications. The exact criteria is beyond the scope of this lecture, but Ranson criteria are a set of factors used for prognosis in acute pancreatitis. Treatment for acute pancreatitis, in addition to management of the underlying cause when appropriate, is largely supportive care, particularly hemodynamic support with aggressive intravenous volume repletion, as well as pain control, often with opioids, though morphine is considered relatively contraindicated to sphincter of OD spasm. Complications of acute pancreatitis include pancreatic pseudocyst, chronic pancreatitis, and even death in severe cases.